And in our Colorado, the rising price of housing is a problem all over our state, not just here in the metro. And our Colorado is our commitment to explore the challenges we're all facing because of this rapid growth we're seeing. And that includes small towns like Conifer, where high costs are forcing a lot of mom and pop shops to leave town. And Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo found one shop owner who says her Colorado is all about keeping her passion alive. God and junk, the two things I love. The price of passion. This one will go for 450, which is you can't even buy a cheap one from IKEA for that. No offense, IKEA, but is something Deborah is always willing to pay. Wait, I almost got it. Okay, got it. Ugh. Because she'll do anything to keep her dream alive. I just fell in love with junk. It was somebody else's, but when I got it, it felt brand new and like I had saved a lifetime for it. She has three weeks. I hear this all day, every day, so I'm used to it. To open her doors. Slow down, sledders. There's rocks in the way. I sell antiques. Love it. The first few sales I had, my friends said I should open a museum. An antique store right down to the foundation. And it creaks when you walk. This is new, but it's also a relocation from Conifer. The rent more than doubled. It was... 2000 a month and uh, it went up to 4800 and there was no way you could ever sell. Even for Deborah. I think babe right here would be perfect. That price for her passion was too high. God would close that one and he'd open another and he did. Which is why she found this. That one's gonna go in here. In pine. It's significantly lower. It's, it's so affordable, it's wonderful. After five years, Deborah's store was forced to move. Maybe for the best because she says people are already stopping by. And it's not even open yet. Wait till we get open. And what's moving but just a small price for her passion. That sign says welcome. In Pine. And it says God bless and y'all come back. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. Ah, we wish her well in her new location.